Uh, hello everyone, uh, Jim Hannon here from Golden Stars, and tonight uh, I'm taking a little trip uh, as I attempt to image a galaxy called M101. It's a giant spiral galaxy. Uh, it's up actually at the handle of the Big Dipper. Uh, I'm going to be using that 4-inch telescope that's behind me. Uh, the problem I might have is behind me, you can see this tree. Now, the handle of the dipper is going to be right up over top of that tree, and if the galaxy is high enough, I can image it um, over top of that tree. Um, failing that, uh, I'll move on to a different subject, and we'll image something else. Um, I'll try to take you on as much of the trip as I can. I'll try to show you how the focusing process goes uh, after I align the amount on the bright stars uh, that I need to align it on and have it computerized for the night. Um, check in with you a bit. Okay, folks, uh, we're back inside now. Uh, the mount is calibrating. Uh, those yellow crosshairs are the uh, crosshairs, and you can see that little box, and there's a star that's just slightly outside the box. Uh, right now what the mount is doing is it is moving it very slowly to the north um, and then bringing it back to the center. And then doing the same thing to the left or right, uh, going east to west. And then that tells them out uh, how much backlash and movement there is in, uh, off of the star. So at that point, um, the, that yellow line will turn green, um, both of them. And it'll tell me that the telescope is guiding exactly. We are already on the galaxy, and I will begin to show you images of those. Uh, once I start guarding this guarding uh, this process of um, calibrating the, the mount and the guide it, it takes several minutes kind of a pain to wait for but uh, uh, it it, uh, it does a great job once it starts so we just have to wait for the calibration to finish and we will start imaging okay folks just to show you what I was talking about is you can see now those lines are green the box is square right on the crosshair, and that star is underneath the box and crosshair. And now the telescope will guide completely on that star without any movement and without me doing a thing. Is all I need to do is to turn the software back to the galaxy. And uh, uh, let me see if I can do that while I'm holding the camera. I'm not sure. I want to minimize this program in case I need it later on. Um, I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. We're out the, okay, and we can drop that down into the tray and it will be continuing to run. And here is this, the um, software for the CCD camera now up and we'll maximize that. And there in the center, you can see the galaxy from a test image. And uh, I'll let you see what goes on in a few minutes. Um, after I take a couple of uh, images, I'll come back and show you how much better of an image we're getting. Hey, folks. Uh, back here with our imaging run. Um, and as I suspected, the galaxy that I wanted to image, uh, M101, uh, was right in that tree that I showed you earlier before we got dark. Um, this uh, is a galaxy M81. Uh, you can see the core here. Um, you can start to see the outer spiral arms are now starting to come in. We are, let me see, uh, maybe I can show it to you. Yeah, we are 14 images in. That's right there. It's telling us how many images taken. So the images are two minutes long. Uh, the countdown clock is over here counting down. This image is uh, down to 42 seconds to go, and it'll be image number 15. So that'll be two minutes time. That'll be half an hour worth of data. Now this this is in hydrogen alpha light, and, and that's just a fancy word for saying we're shooting this in very deep, deep red light. And I'm doing that only because uh, the moon might be a, a problem later on. But uh, I may have to cut this exposure before that because this galaxy is farther over to the west. And it'll be setting down over top of the uh, Congregational Church building that's over behind me be, uh, before I can go too deep. And I do have to be up early tomorrow morning. So 
Um, I'm going to acquire this data tonight, um, and then uh, another night I'll get uh, the luminous, which is just oxy and just plain white light, and, and then in red and green and blue uh, filtered light. And then all that gets averaged out into a computer program where I get my nice pretty images from. But this is the raw data coming in off the telescope now from a galaxy. I didn't look up the distance of this one, but we're probably talking on the order of oh, 35 million light years or something like that. Um, but uh, it's uh, it, it, actually this is the boring part because I'm just sitting here watching this data come in. My computer's doing everything. That tracking program is doing the tracking. Um, this, the computer program here is running the camera and stacking the images one over top of the other. Uh, the more images you take and the more you stack, the smoother the final processed image uh, you get uh, it'll be. Um, this software here takes all the data. It'll combine the data. And then I move the image over to uh, Photoshop's and uh, another one, uh, PaintShop Pro 9, I believe it is. And I do a lot of my post-processing in those programs. And that's where you pull out the real nice detail on the arms and all. Um, so um, that's it. Uh, I may be back later before I finish up for the night and show you how much deeper the image has gotten. Um, but anyway... Uh, I uh, thought I'd take you along for part of it tonight. Uh, you can really see that arm is really starting to come in nice here. Uh, I can fool around with the the contrast on the screen here. It doesn't bother with the image. It's, the image is going to be what it's going to be. It's the, This is just a screen display it shows. But um, anyway, uh, we'll combine all this stuff together at the end and uh, see you guys later. Uh, hello guys, back again. Um, I made a little bit of a switch. Let me see if I can get a little better angle on this. Um, I wasn't real happy with the uh, hydrogen and alpha data that I was getting. Uh, the stars looked a little bloated and out of shape. Um, not really sharp. This is luminous. In other words, this is just plain white old light coming into the camera with no filters in front of it other than a uh, uh, filter that blocks um, uh, the into the ultraviolet which uh, would make the stars blow so I'm using that over it but uh, as you can see the galaxy is coming in really nice uh, we're only um, what's that five images in we're only 10 minutes worth of data here and, and uh, how much better you, you can see the spiral arms coming in here on these uh, these images here uh, the stars um, they're much sharper um, uh, you can actually see detail in the spiral arms starting to come in. And those are what the hydrogen alpha filter will bring out as, as red. Those are star-forming regions in this galaxy. Um, I'll get some good data here tonight. I will not get enough to make a color image because then I need to take the RGB, which is the red, green, and blue data under the filters. Uh, that'll have to be done another night. But uh, before I quit tonight... Uh, um, I should have a pretty nice image that I can work in monochrome anyway, a nice uh, black and white image, but I like the color. I notice, so let's see, you see these little tiny black spots there, there, and there. Uh, I think I showed you one time, uh, the flat fielding that I do. Uh, they get that, that get applied during processing to this image, and if they're taken properly and it works right, uh, they, they take those spots out. Uh, they average them out and, and get rid of them, you won't even see them. Uh, but as you can see, we're getting a nice image here and getting a lot of nice data on this. Um, and then uh, it'll probably be, this will probably be it for this video tonight. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I can get, I know we got a cloudy stretch coming up. Uh, and then at some point later, I'd like to get the uh, red, green, and blue data to uh, put a complete color image together. So we'll see how it goes, guys, and talk to you later. Okay, guys, this is the completed image from uh, last night's run. Um, it's only a monochrome, as I only attained a luminous channel. Um, the core is blowing out. I had some severe difficulty processing this for some reason. The software really blew that this core should be, not be that brilliant. It should be uh, a little dimmer. What does show up very nice, though, are the 
the arms. In fact, you can see these little knots in the arms, those are the star forming region. Um, it's the total one hour exposure. Um, rough processing and just in black and white until I can obtain uh, the RGB and the color data to com complete a color image. Uh, I'm going to have to work a little more on the uh, central core. That was a real problem. But that's the final image from last night's run.